Well, Best Buy is back and on a roll. The stock shot up 15% last week following an increase in sales and profits. Uh, it's a far cry from where the Minnesota-based company was just three years ago. The CEO told me that success is based on recreating the customer experience. The comeback of Best Buy is, is this uh, obsession about the customer and helping them not just buy a product, but meet their needs, live their passions, enrich their life with the help of technology. And we're going to help you end to end, make sure you... We, Make sure you're happy, meaning we're in the happiness business. We are in the happiness business. CEO Hubert Jolie recently showed me how changing the online profile and in-store experience were part of a major overhaul to make customers happy and revive the company. This is the ultimate candy store. This is the ultimate toy store. There's so much to look at. Hubert Jolie took over as CEO of Best Buy about four years ago. While browsing the Apple store within the store, you quickly realize why he also calls himself a salesman. They have the new uh, uh, computers uh, that they just launched for Black Friday. We have a great promotion for the iPad Pro. Part of his strategy to save Best Buy was to match online prices of competitors like Amazon, offer free shipping, and remodel the retail stores. This is the uh, Microsoft Surface Book. Look at how cool this is. So you press here, and it's a tablet. Oh, how about that? And look at how light it is. That's cool. And it's a beautiful, you know, uh, PC, uh, notebook, and it's a tablet. He also invested in training the Blue Shirt team. The retail sales force does not work on commission. Jolie pushed them instead to increase their product knowledge. The comeback would be based on the customer. Are you training them to ask more questions it's, and it's listen? It's all about training. You will notice that one of the key things that uh, Best Buy uh, people have, all of them, two ears just one mouth this is to ask questions and make sure we understand what what are you going to use it for like most of his 125,000 employees Jolie uses many of the things he sells what does the CEO of Best Buy do with his drone the high-end drone like this is a move is a moving camera and so you record you know uh, beautiful pictures images that you couldn't records uh, with a normal camera. The company also developed a new mobile app and made a significant online investment. People usually begin shopping on the web, but some things like 4K TVs need to be seen in person. The size and resolution are amazing. It's simply a better picture quality. What is important for people when they buy a TV? Picture quality. And there's real innovation uh, that is taking place and the prices are going down very quickly. He calls home connectivity an emerging category and is positioning Best Buy to provide technology to turn on your lights, lock your doors, and create the ultimate smart home. Again, I just got uh, four of them because uh, you put one in each room, right? And it's plug and play. Uh, so you have an app on your phone uh, and then, you know, two minutes after you've plugged it, you're speaking to the uh, device and you're having a conversation. It's taken years to implement the Renew Blue turnaround. Morale and sales are up, and Jolie is optimistic. Technology is evolving. It's, it's more and more exciting. It's also more complex. Customers need help with it. And we're uniquely positioned with our online asset, our stores, and our geek our ability to go to your home to help you with that. And uh, we are seeing that what we're doing is resonating with customers. And it all starts tomorrow. Best Buy will open its stores at uh, 5 o'clock Thanksgiving night. They will then reopen at 8 a.m. on Friday morning. If you want to check out their doorbuster deals, we have them at WCCO.com slash links. So the 4K TVs, it is, the whole thing's interesting, mm -hmm. and it's nice being a local company that they're back and doing well, but um, they're amazing to see in person. The 4K TVs? And he said, guess how much some of these cost? And I was like, I don't know, 800 1600 They have one tomorrow they're selling for 200 bucks. Oh, yeah, it's an in-store. There's going to be a long line out there. Yeah, yes. only, <laughs> you might but, be at the head of it. <laughs> um, but it's amazing that the, the technology keeps increasing and the prices keep dropping, like you said. I like and that. It's a good combination. And there are knowledge increases, too, right? Yeah, the that's what they're really selling is, you know, how, how can we help you? So that's yeah. a big part of it.